Alright, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to a reaction. It's been... Uh, let's see how long it's been. It has been, I want to say, two months? Yeah, a little over two months since the last video I uploaded. It's been, it's been a while. It's, it's been a very long time. But we are back, but this time, with a reaction video. Trying something different because 2K straight booty cheeks. Might upload 2K, might not. Might not upload for another two months. We, we, we don't know, to be honest with you. But we have every NBA star's most humiliating moment by rebound. He'll be in the description. Video's in the description. Let's just get it started. This is every NBA star's most humiliating moment. God damn! And number 20, we got Steph Curry making the most embarrassing At number 20. of his entire career. This 20? Oh, we all know this one. He's going to see up and slip. Uh, the floor was wet. And then he's, yeah, we all know how his air, air ball. Curry yep. Man. So inspirational. But uh, number nineteen. Lonzo. Is a Whoa, is he? Is he a star? Lonzo Ball's most humiliating moment was so bad it got him traded. Oh really? Ooh, and it's against my Heat. It's against my Miami Heat. Oh dear Lord. Oh guys, also if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. Why not? I guess it's a top twenty. And scored on. Paul Pierce. That's what happened in number 18. Oh. Chris Paul's most humiliating moment. Was this the playoffs, I think? No. Oh, no, this is... Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is Steph Curry. That was bad. That was really bad. Steph Curry. He did that to Rudy Gobert, Jesus, too. Something similar. That man playing Twister. Yep. But we gotta pass Giannis. Be Giannis now. Because it's the joke that he tells in number six. Oh, oh, I think I, rem I remember this press conference. This is when he got his... It was kind of a steal of a contract, but this is when he got his first extension after his rookie year. His most I forget what the moment. joke was. So, listen, listen, this is a good one, too. Uh, what's Trey's song, new song called? You guys know? Oh. Banana. What? Uh, what? Huh. Well, let's just move on, man. That was ass. Now, for number 16... Luca? Pay close attention to Luca here, because he suffered his most humiliating. This is rookie Luca. And didn't even see it coming. This is rookie Luca. Oh, he walked right into Jalen Brown. Damn, I feel kind of bad for Luca, but I feel even worse for Zion. Hey, hey oh, you guys see how big Zion is now? Hold on. Ayo, look at this dude. This is a real photo. I always thought this was photoshopped. My man's is huge. I mean, he had an ankle injury, but holy crap. He he he's a big boy now. Anyways, um back back to our regularly scheduled program. Oh, I see in this one. Yep. Oh no, Zion. Zion, Zion buddy. Stop. Now, getting caught simping is pretty cringe. But in number 14, Kevin Durant was caught doing something even worse. Oh, this is old. Kevin, are you eating boogies? Oh, come on. But anyway, it looked like he was just scratching. What about Whatever. Like Jordan? I mean, uh, he got crossed by AI. Humiliating moment even look like. We got it at number 13. Oh, it's not getting crossed by AI. He's going to miss it, dunk it. Nope. Oh, he fumbled the ball. He probably blames Scottie Pippen for that. Let's be honest here. If you watch the last dance, he probably blames Scottie Pippen for that one. Damn. That's sad. But at least MJ tried. Because at number 12. Oh, not Goat Brook. There's no way Russell Westbrook was trying. Is this going to be the travel? The man literally showed up to an NBA game drunk. No. Oh. 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 That won't appear on Westbrook's personal highlight bill. Oh. I've never seen that. Russ, what are you doing? My man D Weed? We gotta talk about Dwayne Wade. Cause 
after the final game of his NBA oh, career, he, slipped. he wanted to do his signature table jump one last time. But in yep, I saw this live. He suffered his most humiliating moment. I'm on, I only can do it the only way I know how, y'all. Yep. Wow, what a humiliating end to a legendary career. But anyways, we're entering the top 10 of our list. So, we're going to be next. To get really humiliating. It was Kyrie Irving's oh. first game in Brooklyn. He dropped 50 points and the Nets were still down 1. Going into the final seconds of overtime, all Kyrie had to do was score one final shot when this happened. Oh, um, yep, I've seen this. I think everyone has. And boom, down he gets. Best part is, almost hits the shot. Almost hits the shot. I miss Kyrie, man. At least you walked away with 50 points. Because in number nine, the only thing Joel Embiid walked away with was his face on a t-shirt. See, during the 2021 playoffs, Joel suffered the most humiliating poster of his entire career. Lobs. Damn. Man, John Collins caught him off guard. And just three days later, Joel and the 76ers were eliminated from the playoffs entirely. Now, all that sounds pretty bad, but what makes this Joel's most humiliating moment was that he was forced to watch Collins pull up to an interview flexing a shirt of the dunk. Now, that's cold, but... At least Embiid didn't get bodied by a dude that's literally half his size. Cause that's exactly what happened. Oh. Shaq's most humiliating moment. Nate blocks him. I've never seen that before. How the hell are you gonna let a four foot man G check you like that, dog? It's gotta be painful. But James Harden's most humiliating moment. Hurt like a bitch. Oh. Bop right into the face. Classic. Now, for number six, we got something special. It was a 2020 game between the Hawks and Celtics. 108 to 106. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Trey Young gets the ball with a chance to win the game when he suffers the most humiliating moment of his career. Oh, and he got stepped over. Looked at him and proceeded to step over him. Marcus Smart. This man Trey just got blocked, stepped on, and lost the game. That's tough. But at least Trey just sent it. I mean. Imagine being afraid to take a wide open shot in the biggest game of the season. Cause that's exactly what happened to Ben Simmons in yep. number five. His most humiliating moment. Everyone knows everyone knows this. Would have tied the game. Boy, Simmons uncontested had a layup, but that's when you know that the game is in your head. That's a dunk for Ben Simmons right there. You got it. This play was so humiliating for Ben. He doesn't even want to be seen in Philly again. And yet, it still can't compare to number what four. What the time LeBron's hair just fell out mid-game. For both teams, the Lakers starting forwards have outscored the Jazz starting forwards 51 to 7. Oh, dear Lord. Well, what the hell's going on with your head, huh? Well, after this clip went viral, we found out exactly what caused LeBron's hair to just fall out. It turns out that LeBron didn't drop a like. You. Channel. Yeah. This Anyways, dude. We're entering the top three, so we're taking the humiliation to a whole new level. Back in 2018, Is it Dame? Oh no, Lamelo. Lithuania for his dad's JBA league. When early in the third quarter, he got into a Damn. with another. Oh. And got thrown out of the Yo. <laughs> now the ejection itself was bad enough, but. To make matters worse, in the locker room after the game, LaMelo suffered the most humiliating moment of his entire life. You are selfish mother Damn. You get tapped in the head. I told your ass. 
We cannot respond like that. You of all people, but you let me down. You, 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 my brand, you, my game. We don't win because your ass. Let's go. What you want to do? Damn. Son, I told your ass, I said, you're getting on my bad last nerve because you're doing it wrong over and over and over. I thought you had my back. You don't care about nobody on the team. You don't care about winning. You care about yourself. And I'm supposed to be calm. But I'll tell you what, I blame this, this, this loss right here, not on none of y'all. It's all y'all young and do your thing. I blame it on that raggedy right there. Damn. That changed the whole, the whole trip. Damn. Watching that give me flashbacks to my childhood. I feel humiliated for Lamella. Damn. But not as much as our boy J.R. Smith. Because this uh, was the most humiliating everyone. moment yep. was the biggest mistake in NBA Finals Probably history. biggest mistake of his career. We got it in number two. Also, George Hill should have made that free throw. I, I hate watching this. The Cavs could have took that game. Would they have lost four straight? Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, I didn't think anyone could have a more humiliating moment than this. But then I remembered there's one more player who's been getting humiliated. Is this number his two or one? Life, Sir Charles Barkley. Yeah, I mean, he spent 15 years trying to win a championship, but failed. He's made fun of by Shaq 24/7, and is constantly embarrassing himself on inside the NBA. But you know, I don't think it's his fault. Charles is just special. I got two words for yep, you. Yep, number one. Steve Nash and Chris Paul <laughs> must see TV. Date. More than two words. You didn't say two words. You said quick to the point. You just said I got two words. <laughs> Steve Nash and Chris Paul must see TV. That's why I messed up because I was trying to think of two words. I could have said that. Said that. Okay. Two words. Nash and Paul. That's three. That's three words. <laughs> <laughs> I love Charles Barkley. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Charles, all right, but I got two words for you. Click this video. Okay, right here. all right. Shout out to Rebound, a great video. I'll, leave a like, if you guys enjoy. Subscribe, if you guys are new. GG.